Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and today I'm going to share with you this fun gift card holder that I've made for Purple Onion Designs. It's a pop-up gift card holder, so let's get started. Now I have a denim piece of cardstock. This is cut 8 inches by 6 inches and I'll just need to score it first. So I'll be using the textured side, so I want that to be my outside. And I'm scoring it at three inches. So next I'm going to score my little pop-ups. So I've cut two sheets of design paper and they're both eight inches by two inches wide and I'll just score those every half inch. So that means each piece ends up with three score lines. I'll do this to both of them. So I'm just using my powder tool because I'm going to be doing some embossing and popping that on the right lower corner on the inside of the card so it's on the smooth surface. I'm using some Versamark ink and I've got this gorgeous new sentiment from Carolyn Draws. It's called Merry Christmas to You. So I'll just stamp that and emboss it in white. An easy way to get rid of the excess powder is just to give it a dust off with a dry cloth. I have a little piece of design paper that matches my pop-up pieces and I've cut this 8 inches by just under 3 and I'm going to be adhering this on the upper inside portion of the card. I'm using a nice strong tape. You can use any really strong sort of tape. This one's a score tape. Just to make sure that it all holds in place as there is going to be a little pressure when the gift card is opened. And you don't want it to come apart. So I've got my two pop-up pieces and I'll just fold them on the score lines that I did earlier. Using score tape again, I'm going to paste a piece along each side on the outside fold of the design paper on the side that you want showing. My paper happens to be one-sided so it's easy for me. <laughs> take off one of the release papers and sit that just below the center fold of the card. Now it's as easy as folding this in half again and removing the second release paper and then closing the card over top. On the second pop-up piece place the score tape on the whole edge of the side of the design paper that's closest to you but on the opposite side work out where you'd like your gift card holder to sit and then place your score tape around that so that, and leave a little bit extra so you've got room to slip it in. So remove the tape from the side where the card's going to be and adhere that against the other pop-up piece that you've already got in place. And then it's as simple as removing the final release paper, well, except it's really sticky, <laughs> and folding it in and under and sticking it to the base card. And then the gap will be in the centre where you can place a card. Simple. So I've my two lower corners with my half inch corner chomper. So I've already prepared a panel for the front of my card gift card holder and just going to adhere it with some more score tape. I've used this cute little stamp, it's a new one for Purple Onion Designs called Reindeer and it's created by Carolyn Draws. I've coloured it with some Copic markers, I've added some design paper and use the 3 8 of an inch corner chomper so that it matches the other half inch corners and just added some die cut letters for the name 
using some Tombow Mono Multi Glue and some Cherry Red cardstock. So I've decided to hold this together with some twinery twine. This one's called Midnight Blue. I'll actually have all of the products that I've used listed at my blog. So, and I'm hoping to put them in the video description down below so you might be able to find them there as well. But I'm just going to tie this with a, a bow but you could use any kind of ribbon or a belly band, whatever you prefer. Now I'd just like to thank you for joining me today and I've had heaps of fun creating these pop-up gift card holders for Purple Onion Design so there's heaps more inspiration over at the blog so head on over there. So until next time, happy paper crafting. Bye!